These charts look disastrous. And coming into the beginning of the cycle, I don't think anybody expected this. But I have good news. If you are an ADA holder, these prices don't matter. These prices are, to me, just an increasing opportunity, in my opinion. And that's because if you hold ADA, you have just invested into Cardano's technological supremacy. Oh, what a joyous day it is today in the cryptoverse, in the crypto sphere. What a joyous market drop that we have just witnessed today in the markets. Bitcoin still surviving support zones, surprisingly. It's surviving. It's hanging on by a thread. And I find this to not be scary at all. I am not scared at all. Why am I not scared? Well, because... The majority of my bags are in positions that are not defined by short-term price action. The majority of my bags are defined by the positioning that they have in the technological market. They are actually going to be competing entities in the market, in the real world. And so just because things start to break down macro level doesn't mean that I'm scared. Because in the long run, I have the best in the market. Talking about the best in the market, we should definitely go over Cardano and why Cardano has currently obtained technological supremacy. In order to understand that, we have to go over the basics of Cardano verification transactions and Ouroboros. The user uses their wallets to create a transaction request. The transaction request is then signed by the private key with the signature. The transaction request is then sent to the network meme pool. It waits in line until a staking pool is randomly selected as a slot leader. The slot leader then validates the transaction using the UTXO model and other processes. Once the slot leader validates the transaction, it is then created into a block. The block is then broadcasted to the rest of the Cardano network which will verify the transaction. If approved by over 51% of the network, the block is then inserted into the blockchain for permanent record on-chain. The randomization of the slot leader is a core attribute of Ouroboros. The Ouroboros staking protocol is touted as the most secure proof-of-stake blockchain, mostly because it is the most decentralized. There's not a single other blockchain that has staking on the layer one. Now they have liquid staking on the layer two, but not the layer one, not even Ethereum. Also, Ouroboros can be upgraded and modified, and it actually has been upgraded five times now. Leos, the next upgrade to the Ouroboros staking protocol, will be the sixth upgrade to Ouroboros. But what does Ethereum provide you with their staking protocol? They provide you with slashing. The way they control their protocol is they try to give you penalties for misbehaving. That's essentially what slashing is. And that is what Ethereum has to offer on their staking protocol. Also in the Ethereum protocol, you have to lock your coins. I don't know how many times I gotta say this. You, you have to lock your coins on Ethereum. On Cardano, you don't have to lock your coins. That's why it's known as liquid staking. It's, it's better for the users. And it gives you complete custody over your assets. Cardano is truly trustless because it has a truly decentralized ecosystem of staking pools. The delegation on the staking pools on Ethereum are way more concentrated than they are on Cardano. On Card Cardano actually has the 
most decentralized staking pool delegation of any blockchain out there. Apparently 62.2% of all delegations are going to single pool operators, not giant organizations or coalitions. If more than 51% of staking pool delegations are delegated to one coalition or one organization or one group of people, then it's not truly trustless, is it? Right? That's why Cardano is superior as a blockchain to Ethereum because Cardano is truly trustless because it has the most delegation to single pool operators of any blockchain, which makes it decentralized, which makes it trustless. Ethereum is not trustless because it is too concentrated in the staking pool delegations. And also slashing, Cardano doesn't have slashing. Cardano has other ways to promote positive behavior on the network. Things are looking pretty iffy on the macro level today. And Bitcoin is surviving and it seems to be surviving strong. I still believe we are still in bull cycle mode. I do not believe that we are going ultimately to a bear cycle, even if it crosses through the thresholds that everyone has. I've said that before. I still think we are in bull cycle mode. Anything as far as Cardano is concerned, for me myself, anything under $1 is worth me continuing to dollar cost average into that position. For me, if, if I'm scared, if I'm feeling scared and skittish, I still think that it's the worst possible thing for me to do is to sell my ADA. I'm not gonna sell my ADA. I'm holding on to it and I'm riding this roller coaster for the long haul.